progressives are aiming to teach President Biden a lesson on student loan debt. There's very little that the president could do with the flick of a pen that would boost our economy more than canceling $50,000 in student debt. Canceling student loan debt is the single most effective executive action that President Biden can take. Hope he uses his executive authority to move towards full student debt cancellation. And their demands may be working. Press Secretary Jen Psaki says the White House is, quote, reviewing whether there are any steps Biden can take through executive action, and he would welcome the opportunity to sign a bill sent to him by Congress. Uh, so where does that leave students? Campus Reform Correspondent and University of Florida student Ophelia Jacobson joins us now. Ophelia, thank you so much for being here. So previously, the Biden administration said, ah, we don't think we have the power to do this by executive action. Now, with enough pressure, it seems they might do that. What would it mean to you, to others who have worked hard to pay for school, if they just said, hey, we're going to erase everyone's student debt? Well, I attend the University of Florida. It's a public in-state university, and I chose to stay in-state to avoid paying student loans. I knew that going down the road, I didn't want to pay off my loans in the future. I had the opportunity to attend a private out-of-state university that would have cost me an upwards of $80,000 a year in tuition costs. But again, knowing I didn't want to have to pay off those loans in the future, I chose to stay in-state. So it does raise this question of fairness. Why should I then have to pay for the student loans of others who voluntarily chose to go to a more expensive yes. school? It's unfair for me, and it's unfair for millions of other college students who are in the same situation. Ophelia, let's look at the numbers for a second. U.S. student debt as of 2020, this is quarter four, $1.5 trillion held by 42.9 million Americans. That is a lot of money we're talking about. But you brought up the issue of fairness, and you have a lot of people that made decisions like yourself to not incur student debt, but they have other forms of debt. People have mortgages. People have other debt. Now, should we just forgive all of that? Where do you draw the line? And how is it, how do you make it fair to everyone and not just to one person who made one set of decisions versus another who made another set of decisions. Exactly. And I mean, you heard Elizabeth Warren saying that this is the most effective action that President Biden can take to kickstart the economy. But what she isn't considering is the type of example this would give to the future generation of taxpayers. At the Leadership Institute's campus reform, we've recognized how this can lead to a slippery slope. You know, if we're just willing to cancel student loan debt, like you mentioned, why can't we just cancel credit card debt, mortgage payments? Again, it just leads to this slippery slope. And, you know, it comes to, at the end of the day, people really need to learn that they are responsible for their own decisions. They need to learn this lesson young, preferably before they enter college, and take out all of those loans, because unfortunately, we have a generation of college students who think that everything in life is just handed to them on a silver platter, when in reality, that's not really how it works. <laughs> yeah, you're exactly right, Ophelia. What is the argument for student loan debt over any other kind of debt? And as we move forward, I would guess every contingency, every group out there would have the same case to make about having their debt canceled. One more, I know you don't have the answers to these because there are no answers to these kinds of questions, but is this a one-time forgiveness? Will it be rolling? What about future college students? Will college be completely free? How does that work? Exactly. Again, it's, it all comes down to this question of fairness that unfortunately a lot of college students really aren't considering. You know, I've talked to dozens of college students on campuses. They all seem to stir those questions. You know, what kind of precedent would this send for future generations? You know, they also don't really know simple facts such as how much it would cost. Who would be paying for this? They don't know that studies have shown that this would actually benefit wealthy Americans the most. And, you know, we've recognized that this is a trend that many college students are just jumping behind a movement, jumping behind a plan such as canceling student loan debt, and they don't know the full picture. And it's partly due to the fact that many progressives, many politicians are leaving these pieces of information out outside of their propaganda when they're right. pushing canceling student loan debt on our youth. All right, Ophelia Jacobson, thank you so much for yeah. highlighting these unanswerable questions this Very morning. Well thank said. you, Ophelia. Thank you. Thank All you right. so much.